Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the Big Bear Homestead for part two in our aquaponics series of videos. As you can see we pretty much got our system set up. We've got our three fish tanks, we got our swell, swell, swirl filter, our reservoir tank with a sand filter that pumps the water up into the plant in our grow beds. And you can see we got a grow bed one, two, three. Now come over here for a second. Now remember when I was telling you about the ductwork thing? Come here. I want you to look down in here for a second. You got your two inch PVC pipe sticking up out. Okay? You put this right here and then we'll fill all the stone around this. This prevents the stone from getting down into this and eventually wallowing this out and busting up the threads and stuff. Plus when you have to adjust your level with this tube to get the proper vacuum you won't have the problem with the stones falling down into the tanks. So you just set it down like that and then we can put the stone around it. This is our cap for our vacuum. Now there are many different ways to set these up, you can drill holes like this in the bottom of it for it to sit and for it to become a vacuum to suck the water up and in. Or you can do it this way. Okay, now look at this grow bed right here. You see how all this water is just puddling up right here? Okay, that's because it's not getting a vacuum. Okay, now when you get a vacuum, You'll see, now it's got one. It just didn't settle right. And you'll watch the water level drop. And you'll see it coming out here. On down here at the bottom. Okay? And it's just flea flowing. And it will drain the water out of this grow bed. Now, as we're moving along, we're going to do a little fine tuning. You want to hear that sound where it sounds like your bathtub is draining that suction sound. You're gonna want that, but we're gonna have to do a little fine tuning on this one. Um, that water level got a little bit too high for my comfort level. Now watch, this one's getting, this one should cycle here in a minute, okay? As you can see, in here, the water's starting to fill up. It's coming from there, which is getting pumped from the other tank. Okay, now you see how it's filling up. You're starting to see it in the stone. Okay, and then all of a sudden, it will, the vacuum will take over and it'll suction it all down. And this one is full of ants too. This is not the one that got me that y'all seen on the fire ant video. It was that third one down there that got me. But I don't know where all these ants come from, but they're fixing to have some bad days ahead of them. And uh, any minute now. Any minute now. As you can see, look. It's coming down under there. Now watch. Shook. And down it goes. This one will need to be fine-tuned also. So what I mean by that is I'll just take a rubber mallet. Okay. And I'll either turn this upside down and put it on there, and then I'll just give it a couple of taps to lower the inside tube, and then we'll put that back on there to see if it works. And then you just, that's how basically how you do it. You have to fluctuate it. Now, one of the things, this tank here and this tank here, need to be practically almost overflowing to keep the cycle going. This one not so not so much but the higher the better obviously because water finds its own level and it'll continue to go. So as you come around let me let you see the swirl filter in action. It's not really doing it all that great right now it's catching all the water and stuff's catching back up.
If you look real careful, you can see the water going in there. But it should be going, it'll be going in this motion. Okay, and what happens is, is as this one fills up, it drains down and in, pushes the water, and that's what makes the water go. Now come around here for a second. When you're dealing with aquaponic systems, you're always going to have leaks, okay? And as you see, even though we didn't have any leaks before we moved, we've got some again. So we're going to have to come back in here with some silicone or some spray rubber and seal that bad boy up. But as you can see, if you go around on that side, you can see the water coming over the lip of the five gallon bucket, okay? So that tells us that the water is eventually coming through and making it. As it gets filled up and the system levels out, you'll literally be able to see your sand dance a lot better than what it's doing right now. So then your water gets pumped up through the pump, it comes out here. Now, in each one of your grow beds, you're going to want to determine how much water that you want it to pump out at one time. You want it to do at least at least one cycle every 30 minutes. And what I mean by cycle, I mean fill the grow bed up, drain it out. When we had it running before, we were running a cycle every seven minutes. I think it was, wasn't that right, Bubba? About every seven minutes? So that's how we were running, okay? Now see, look at this one, we gotta tap it down some more because it's getting a little bit too full for my comfort level. Now, this one will be another grow bed, okay? Now, these two are what we call our free-flowing beds. They've got a different setup over here. I'll pull that out in a second and let you see that. But this is where we are going to grow our duckweed, watercress, stuff along those lines that we can put in here, and it just basically floats and goes. These are also good tanks to start, if you're doing tilapia, to put your little fingerlings in or your little fry in so that way they can start in here so what what's the fun chicken <laughs> no. that way they don't get eaten by the larger fish now the setup over here is different it's still a two inch pipe coming up but you make this where the water finds its way and it's more of a constant flow to aerate the water. Now we've got our fish right now in this tank here and once the water clears up and everything we'll be able to come back and see them. Now we're going to go ahead and finish filling this one up with the stone and put some more plants in here. We will, um, the next video that comes out, number three, is going to be, we're going to show you how to transplant into your aquaponic system. We're going to show you how to plant into your aquaponic system. Um, we should be able to show you more with our fish and any other, we'll start with troubleshooting on the third video and finish out the aquaponic system in the fourth video with troubleshooting. So... There's our system. Um, when you come back for the video number three, it's probably going to look different because we're going to tie it all down. And also with that one, we'll show you how to make the hoops for the greenhouse for it. And uh, rather simple once you get all the components that we talked about in the first video. Now we got them all hooked up. Um, one of the things, you know, you got, you got your inch and a quarter PVC here with your ball valves, and these three tanks are connected. Now, one of the things that you gotta try to, you don't want, you obviously don't want your bottom end higher than your top end. And you just gotta make it to where your water finds its level, but you definitely wanna try to do your best to keep that tank full. So sometimes you might have to come back and raise these tanks up a little bit, or even lower that one down a little bit, and then you've got to adjust your piping all in the same. Um, I think that's it in a nutshell. 
And uh, so I hope you've enjoyed Aquaponics 1 and now Aquaponics 2. Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. And we'll see you again for Aquaponics 3. Have a nice day.